Friday forecast time, the Maryland Terrapins coming to town. But before we get to Maryland, Sean, let's talk about the week that was at Michigan State. Felt like a missed opportunity for Nebraska. How did you see it? Yeah, there, there was a lot there. I mean, a lot of people upset about this loss for Nebraska for a lot of reasons. Quarterback play, offensive line protection, um, bad calls by the officials, kind of uh, all of the above. Bottom line is they only lost by three points. I mean, they had so many opportunities, even despite – some of the things that we saw go wrong for Nebraska, I think that's what's frustrating. Uh, they they were that close to getting to bowl eligibility on the road in East Lansing, and now the pressure's on. There's a lot of pressure on Nebraska over these next three weeks. I thought it was interesting, too, when he was asked about Heinrich Harburg, about his ball security issues. He not only ball security issues, but also all the sacks he took. He took seven sacks against the Spartans, but really there was a reason for every single one of them. What was your take on Harburg's play on Saturday? Yeah, there, there was a lot there that, to dissect. I mean, the offensive line had problems against four-man pressures. Receivers struggled at times to get off the line of scrimmage because of the, the bump and run coverage, but Harburg was also holding the ball too long, made some bad throws. I mean, so it's so easy to always say it's just the quarterback. Uh, the quarterback was a big part of things, but there were other factors in play there uh, that things just weren't in sync for Nebraska at times. Uh, there are moments where the offense looked comfortable, uh, but Harburg as a runner, too. Michigan State did a really good job of bottling up the run game really until that fourth quarter run that he had that helped Nebraska get within three. Yeah, Harburg's big runs really came as a result of his scrambling ability and his athleticism. On the other side of the football, uh, you know, it was interesting because Nebraska was good but not great, as they have been, and they've been able to carry this team through recent weeks. Saturday was a little bit different. Yeah, Nebraska allowed six pass plays of over 15 yards in that game. Every one of Michigan State's scoring drives had a 25-plus yard play. And here's the, the problem. This week they're going to see even a better passing offense with better athletes. Mike Loxley, Tagovailoa, it's a really, really good Maryland Terrapin offense. So uh, it will be a test probably as good of a passing test as Nebraska has faced since Colorado when they played Shador Sanders in that high-powered offense. In an interesting situation at Maryland, they go out and they win their first five games, and now they've lost their last four, and in the second half against Penn State, they just got blown out, outscored 30 to nothing. Where is Maryland at? Yeah, they're an interesting case study because they've kind of been the same team the last few years. They're a really fast-starting team. They take care of business in the non-conference. They generally get a favorable opening Big Ten game or two, then when the real schedule settles in, they kind of fall back. And, and that's been the story again this year. They lost at Northwestern. Nebraska beat Northwestern. So if you're playing the he said, she said game, yeah, yeah. you know, you can match it up for Nebraska in a good way going into this game. But we know it's not that simple. As Michigan State was a six-game loser, they beat Nebraska. Uh, but the Huskers are getting the Terrapins at a really good time, knowing this team has been through a lot already the last month. Yeah, such a fine line in terms of margin for air for Nebraska. Now, interesting, too, that Matt Rule talked about pressure, that he wants to play meaningful games in November. Well, he's got three more big ones, and Nebraska has to get one. We know he, do, he wants more than one, obviously, but getting over that hump, how big of a deal would it be if Nebraska were able to take care of business at home against Maryland? Well, it would just take off so much pressure going on the road because I do think the next two weeks are going to be rigorous. You're on the road at night at Wisconsin. You're not going to get back till Sunday at 3 in the morning. You have to come back on Friday and play at 11 a.m. So Nebraska's body clock is going to really have two less days of rest and recovery to get ready for Iowa. So you would love, if you're a Nebraska fan and a Nebraska player, to take care of business this week, get this six win behind you, so then you can just say, hey, we're playing with house money now. Let's, let's make a run at the West. Let's have some fun these last two weeks. And an interesting note, this game is a streaming game only. It's on Peacock, so you better order up if you don't already have Peacock. It's Nebraska and Maryland, 11 a.m. here at Memorial Stadium.